Ah, yes, check out the boxes. Do you remember those? I believe we had an event like that a couple of weeks ago. I wonder if I'm late. Nah, never. I wonder why I keep opening these boxes, because I've, I've done two videos on this topic in the past, and they never turned the profit. So I wonder why am I keep doing this to myself? Why do I keep buying these boxes? My only answer is, hey, for entertainment, it's fun at the end of the day. So I bought 90 more Shakata boxes for today on my NA account, once again, you know, the, the gambling account, where I don't really care if I lose the silver or not. And I opened them about, I believe, two weeks ago on stream, and I figured, hey, maybe the, the YouTube people would like to know what happened to those boxes as well. So let's, let's have a bit of fun, open the Shakata boxes. I mean, I already know what I got from them, but you don't. So um, yeah, let's, let's get into that. It's funny how every time I go on the NA account, I am considered a returning player, and I keep on st stacking up value packs, you know, like, like it's a collection, but uh, yeah. For the opening location, I decided to go for the highest place in Calfion because I figured, why not, might as well, maybe this place is RNG carried. If only we still had the RNG rock in Velia, I would have picked that one. I started with the combat boxes because everyone kind of said, hey, the life skill boxes are more valuable, you should leave those for last. And they kind of are because the life boxes actually have a chance to give you uh, tier, you know, dream horses. Still, I started with the combat boxes, I had 45 of those and 45 life boxes. It started pretty well opening those. I got a couple of uh, Tungrad belts in the beginning, kind of gave me, gave me hope that this will be <laughs> profitable in the end. I got a Pry Eye of the Ruins ring, and then I started getting a bunch of cronstones, and more cronstones, and even more cronstones. I ended up with around 600 cronstones by the end, and um, just look at my inventory. You know, 45 boxes. Does that look like 4.5 billion silver to you? Because it doesn't to me. By the way, I didn't do any math yet, so I'm just going to take guesses if I made money or not, but you know, while editing I will make the actual math, so you will see on screen if I did make money or if I didn't. After the 45 combat boxes, I went into the life ones, and for these, honestly, I just simply wanted one thing, I wanted a dream horse. Can you imagine how satisfying it would be to know that I got my first and only dream horse from a Shakata box? That would be kind of the, the best case scenario, the best thing ever. Sadly, it didn't really happen. The life boxes were, um, I would say, even more disappointing than the combat ones. I got a ton of memory fragments, I got a lot of Kafra stones, actually not a lot, but mostly memory fragments, and a couple of Manus accessories. In the end, I didn't get anything enhanced, I didn't, as in, enhanced from the box, and I didn't get my dream horse. 90 boxes, you know, 9 billion silver down the drain, and just look at my inventory. Do you, do you think these are worth 9 billion silver? Because back then, when I looked at it, I said, no way. The, uh, let me take a guess. Uh, uh, if I remember correctly what I got, I would say I did some math on stream back then, and it was around 4 something billion silver. I will be hopeful and say I prob probably made back about 5 billion silver from opening all of those boxes. It was fun, it was entertain entertaining, but in no way it was profitable. I swear, those Shakata boxes should be named Scam Boxes. After all of that was done, I looked at my inventory and I realized, hey, I have a couple of accessories, you know, Manos accessories and normal accessories, why not smash some of those together, enhance them, and maybe I get my money back that way. Oh yeah, there was one more uh, winter box, the 100 million pay to win box event, whatever, I had one of those as well, I opened it and... At, at least I didn't lose money on, on it, I got 120 cronstones. So I had a huge stack of cronstones. I used most of those, honestly, just enhancing. Um, I, really, I believe I started with a pry distortion, just smashing two of those distortions together with cronstones, and it succeeded. That was pretty nice. I bought one more distortion, I tapped it to duo, and it succeeded. 
so far so good. Then I tried to go for the duo after Ruins Ring. I got a pry from the combat boxes and it failed to go to duo. And that was kind of as much as I was able to do in uh, Calfian, at the top of Calfian. From here, we drop down, we move into Velia, and we keep on enhancing. I started with more Tungrad belts, I made one to pry, then I made another one to pry, so far so good, then I tried to go for a duo and it failed, and at this point I was starting to believe that hey, maybe there's a good chance I will recover my money from this experiment. Um, I went for the Manos accessories as well to enhance those because you don't need fail stacks for those, so it was fairly easy. I tapped the Manos belt to pry and then to duo without any fails, and then I tapped the earring to pry and then to duo without any fails. So far it was looking really good and I started to get a bit greedy, which means you know, kind of, kind of spells bad news. Usually when you get greedy with enhancing, enhancing it doesn't end up very well. I bought one belt, one Tungrad belt from the marketplace, trying to go for a duo, and it failed. Not, not very nice, but still. And then I decided, let's use more of those free cronstones that we got from the combat boxes. And I tried to go for the distortion earring. I tried to go for a try, because I believe back then I justified it as if I get a try, then you know, everything is kind of even, money-wise, and I didn't lose anything. I tapped try with cronstones, and it not only failed, but it also downgraded. Kind of, kind of a waste of cronstones, but still. I wasn't really satisfied with that, and I, I bought one more distortion from the marketplace, and I tried to go back to, to duo, again with cronstones, and it downgraded, again. I don't know what is the chance for an accessory to downgrade, with cronstones, but it definitely seems to be pretty high up there. And um, after it downgraded all the way to base, I said, eh, I think that's pretty much it. I called it an end for the enhancing session. Uh, not enhancing, actually, stuck out the box opening session. And that was pretty much it. Not, not um, a lot of stuff, but still, I just felt like sharing the 90 boxes that I opened weeks ago. In the end, I definitely didn't make the money. I definitely didn't make 9 billion silver. I know that for a fact. I can't wait actually to just go and do the math. But again, my guess, I, I probably made back 5 billion out of 9 at the best. Probably less than that. So moral of the story, if you want to waste silver, go ahead and open check out boxes on the next event. Otherwise, I guess just look at it as a fun, enjoyable way to burn silver. Or just maybe open five boxes and if you don't get lucky on those, then just stop. So, thanks for watching. Hope this was fun, entertain entertaining. I will see you uh, next time. And until then, stay happy. Looking forward to Nova, might reroll, wink wink. And bye-bye. Uh,